Okay, so the role of empathy in the context of perinatal loss is so multifaceted. Um, and the first point I want to cover is the importance of having empathy for yourself as a bereaved parent. And I think that is the hardest and stickiest point um, for all parents, right? Your main prerogative, your main job is to keep your baby alive, to keep your baby safe. And if you can't keep your baby safe, even if it isn't your fault, it still feels like a massive failure. There's not a day in my life that goes by, no matter how much healing work I put in, that somewhere inside, I don't feel like I failed my child uh, or that I could have prevented his death in some way. So there's a lot of magical thinking that comes into play there. Logically, I know that's not true, but um, having empathy for myself is something I have to return to again and again and again and just remind myself that something horrible happened to me and to my son and that you know, I need to love myself through it more than more than I need love from anybody else. And then in the context of community support, I think empathy looks like um, being able to talk about people's um, dead children with them and and really being there for it, asking how they are and really meaning it and sitting there for a long, hard answer that's going to make you feel crappy and uncomfortable because grief is crappy and uncomfortable. Allowing yourself to be, if you have the capacity a safe space to really hear what people in grief have to say, or even just to sit with them when there are no words adequate for that level of pain. If you can sit in that burning fire of lifelong pain with a grieving parent, that's empathy and that's the empathy they need. And then from a professional standpoint, um, medical professionals are taught, from a clinical standpoint, medical professionals are often taught not to get overly emotionally involved in, in cases and of course they have to have professional empathetic detachment so that they don't get vicarious grief and trauma but unfortunately when it comes to perinatal loss um there's a lot of things don't really work that smoothly in the medical system and all the parents I know just have horror stories of how they were treated by medical people after their loss and so um this is a really big and important part of my career and the work that I do is actually training clinicians how, for example, they're taught not to cry um, at work. And I always say it actually is appropriate to cry when someone has just lost a baby. Try to keep your crying level maybe a little bit below everybody else's in the room. So it's appropriate. Um, but being cold and clinical when someone's just lost a baby, you know, that just ain't it. It is not it. When my son died, the nurses cried with me and held me and told me how sorry they were and what a good mother I was. And I have to say, like, they were angels that I will remember forever. And for them to be able to display that kind of empathy and still hold it together um, to do their jobs, that's a beautiful thing. So if more clinicians could learn how to hold empathy in their professionalism, honestly, that would change the lives of bereaved parents.